Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags, today we're looking at this guy, the Interceptor Camelbot, last line of defense from the uh, stealth team, from Acid Rain, there you go, you got Ashima there, I believe that's his name, Interceptor Camelbot, on the side here, usual, in the back, all the stuff you'll get, big box, bigger than your average, Crack it open. Now this guy I was waiting for for quite a while because I've had I had him on pre-order. Didn't come for ages though. P Club just wasn't uh, delivering it. Plastic here, so no crate. There we go. Stuff in there. Let's get this stuff out. Bag there, a few bits, whatever that is. Here, some stuff, interesting. Head, Ashma. There, gone. And the figure, all safely intact. Let's get him out. There you go. Lovely, look at him. It was nice and uh, sturdy. Like hefty. Yeah. So here's everything all laid out. Some stuff taken off. Let's start with him. Looking great here. Even the detail underneath the vest I've taken off. The weathering there still. Attention to detail, little screws and all of that. Little uh, silver details as well, like in there. Really like it. Feet underneath there. Turn around and go. Oh, what's that? Didn't bother with the nub marks there. Uh, still looking good though. 
Yeah, if that were a gun down, it would have been a file down. So, let's uh, go ahead with the articulation. Just down. All the way around for his head. Quite a bit of movement. All the way back like that. And down there. And that is to help with transformation. Arm goes up there. Wouldn't put it anymore, otherwise it pops off. All the way around. There you see that part there. This bends all the way. And swivel that bicep. This goes left and right and round. There's an extra bit here, again, which is for a transformation to the camel bot mode. There. Goes all the way around. So, movement up here. A bit stiff, but it does move around. Goes all the way down there, which is amazing. Again, for transformation, help with transformation. And does go all the way back like that, and even further there. Can't for I can't ask for any any better than that really. Let's see that bends. Look at that. That mechanic is uh is really really good. All right, so Jean Claude, Jean Claude. Oh, not very good. Intercept those balls. Um, leg goes up like that, and this kind of goes back, you kind of have to get around that bit, yeah. And this double jointed knee goes back there. Also, goes front like that. Here, yeah, movement there at the top, the ankle, and this is good, look, see, rocker there. This goes down. And up. So yeah, let's uh, transform him. So this goes down with the head going up like that, so you can form that kind of look. Arms come down. His hands twist. His hands are the same on both sides, by the way. And these things come down there. Legs here go like that. Then back all the way there and then front all the way. There you go. Same here. Like a beast. Hooved beast camel bot. There you are, fella. Like a doggy. Woof woof. Sit boo boo sit. Good dog. So yeah, it looks great. Right, so here's the extra head. Aishima. Um, it says on the um, promo images. You can call them whatever you want, I suppose. Nice skelly cybernetic head. Really like this look. It's quite intimidating. Does refer to him as a hero, but he does look more like a, a no villain. Look at that. Awesome, menacing look. So that you can put on any figure, but it is really meant for Ajax here. The reason I got him, uh, really. I like the, the, this colour for the power armour dudes. But then I thought this head looks amazing on it. So this doesn't like fit on immediately. You kind of have to wear it in so it can fit properly. It's quite a difficult fit at first. But once you do get it properly, it stays there, but it kind of twists at the neck. See, then it's through the neck movement um, as opposed to from the head. There you go, look at that. Oh, yeah. Formidable skelly. Right, so these two parts are for arm changing. So, 
remove these arms. You can do it for anyone, really. The acid rain joints, I must say, are very, very sturdy. Don't have any worry with taking them off. Uh, let's put this guy back and take his arms. So here, just pull it all the way, and it just comes off like that, very easily. Same here. All the way, there you go. And here's the arms. And so these joints just clip in. You just clip, clip on the arm there like that. Nice and simple. And then that peg bit fits into the body of here as opposed to the camel bot one, which is a different uh, size slot. There you go. And then this one. There is a character they released, Talos, Stealth Talos, who's made up of uh, the original uh, camel, but Stealth Camel Bot and um, one of the generic soldiers. There you go, look at him. With his long off arms. <laughs> Probably won't keep him like this, because I uh, quite like the camel bot with arms. And yeah, I think it suits the other stealth character better than uh, this power armor suit. Nice alternate look though. Looking quite different. Let's see if he can uh, do what that stealth Talos does. Which is kind of semi-dog mode on four, four legs. Actually, I doubt it because his head won't be able to move up. But Alright, so... Yeah, yeah, ready, you can tell. Alright, there he is. Can't really look up. Alright, so let's just put his back on camel bot. Interceptor. Alright, let's try this head on. <laughs> oh, look at me! Oh, that looks super silly. Alright, so here's the vest. Great detail on there. Does uh, add to the design as well. I like these, these clipping uh, very easily, unlike some others. So that simply just goes over Camelbot Interceptor. You just have to hook it in and it clips in quite, quite nicely. When you do it properly. There you go. Just uh, middle it there, arrange it so that that thing can come through. Put on the head. There. These shoulder pad bits. Up upside down. And they just uh, peg in like that, like quite nicely. It's not loose or anything. Just slots in there. Same for that. There you go. So that is his uh, actual complete look. Here is his backpack. He carries around. And put stuff in there. Put these in there. Don't lose them. And then you just pop it onto this thing. The rack. Just uh, pegs in and then uh, holds at the bottom. There. Space there for something. Hmm. Right, so here's the gun. This is great. Look, you clip that into there. And this comes out there, I think, for another way of holding it for a character, maybe another figure. Can move that around. 
here, magazine, bullets, looks really good. That simply just goes in there. Really good. You get three of those. There. So let's try it on Aishima. Ajax, Aishima. Put that in too. There, look at that. He is ready. Magazines. Two spare go in here. And the other here. Safe storage. They fit in very nicely. Don't fall out. And that clips on in the back. So make sure you align them correctly. Uh, yeah, you should know when it goes in, it kind of clips in. Yeah, that's done. Secure it. All right, there you go. So let's try this. So we can hold it. Just start here, normal. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you can put it around his shoulder too. Do have to angle his arm though in a way that he can hold it there still, but it works. And this just holds there. His arms are so long, it's... Yeah. There you go. Looks great. So there. Really good. He's a um, really great figure. Really solid. You've got a, a range of uh, movement you can get away with. You can do. Looks very menacing. I like his scale to the figures, other figures. That you can put on shoulder. So you can just hold it into battle. There you go. So yeah, if you do have Ajax as well, it's a good little set to get. Um, the Aishima head is awesome too. This little skelly cyberpunk look. Right, so let's do some comparisons and size here. Belarus or Belarus, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, video of him, check out. They do scale well, they could uh, sort of uh, fight each other. Here is Age of Sentinel. As you can see, look how Camelbot towers over him. Now we've got Master Chief. Woo. This guy is a big fella, as he is in the games, and he is just, go, he can go toe to toe with the camera bot. John 117. Here is Detective Smith. Could be buddies in arms. And Donda Luggins. Can good against him. We go with Stina on a little stand like she's doing some flying action mode uh, pose kind of thing. And here is a six inch figure, 112 figure, a knockoff uh, one, custom kind of thing. RG, uh, Gundam Crossbone here, he's a small lad, but obviously in this, in this scale he, he scales quite big. Here even bigger is... Uh, McFarlane's Warhammer 40k Intercessor. There he is. A difficult, difficult to get hold of now. Glad uh, I got him uh, when I did. He came out. Or was gifted to me. And here we go. GM from uh, uh, Gundam. 
and uh, it's an HG, HG model by the way but I plan to use them hopefully in a uh, universe is Barbatos Master Grade about the same size as uh, Intercessor is Intercessor and Interceptor is Jesse Joy Toy Legs Initially in my universe I had these two kind of teaming up. And here we go, flying heavy cavalry with bike. I think we'll try Camelbot on the bike. Bike. Let's get this back on him. So yeah, let's do that and uh, do some other bits of posing. Right, so this guy is a brilliant figure. His scale is intimid I mean his his size is intimidating in this scale and he's very solid. Uh, although he can transform, um there's been a lot of thought with the figure itself first and then the transformation ju is just seamless. It just works really really well. There's no um hiccups, no problems. It's just a seamless um, experience going between the two. Um, so whichever way you want to have him posed in, it doesn't matter. It's just going to work both. And you can pose him in many different ways. And this with the alternate head, the best alternate head I've seen. I mean, I don't know if there's many in the Acid Rain line, but this for me definitely is an exclusive to this camel bot. Uh, that made me decide to get this camel bot over the others uh, at the end of the day. 
Um, I was interested in some of the other ones, but this one, because of that extra head, I thought I have to get. So uh, shop around if you're interested. It's a great solid figure with uh, some goodies, nice extras. Oh, before I go, let's do one more. Here, this guy, which I got recently. There is a video for him. The Hurricane model from Joy Toy it does tower over Camelbot here. But I'd say they're very different. The Hurricane really has to be thought of um, not really as a figure, as a mech stroke vehicle. Well, grenade in the hand in, in vehicle mode. Um, but the, the Camelbot is a figure. It is made that way. It feels that way. Um, it's um, very sturdy in that way too. Whereas the Hurricane is very much a mech, uh, which I'll be playing about with more. But yeah, transformation-wise on, on the figure of Camelbot is obviously seamless as it is a figure. And so completely different, really. But both really good in their own right. Camelbot is just an amazing figure, though. So if you want it, go and grab him. See later. And that's why I came here from the future. To stop the integration of loud technology into this Camelbot to form the Interceptor to save the human race from annihilation. Uh, we actually just finished integration just a moment ago. Check last What's in the Box episode. But the good news is that he's a lovely lad. Doesn't sound like he's going to be causing any kind of annihilation. Right, Interceptor? Annihilation keywords confirmed. Annihilation. Right. Interceptor. Activated. You're all doomed. Wait, what? Did we just begin or start the beginning of the end of the human race in my future? Am I, are we responsible for this? It appears that way. Sweet holy bejesus! Ah, no! The argument day! No! Well, this isn't good. What do you suggest we do? My loved one. Termination. Oh, it was all for nothing. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Again. What do we do? No. Wait. Hold on. A wise woman from history once said, No fate. There is no fate but what we hold or do something about we do our own fate or something like that. I watched it on a DVD where humans used to archive history from one Sarah Connor and her chronicles. Hold on there, that's what we call a movie, a fictional character from a film. I can simply bring you back to your future. Huh? <laughs> what? Impossible. If you were to bring me back to my future, that'd simply be my consciousness in my body from before. But I'll be doomed to repeat the same thing, stuck in a time paradox, forever living the same circle over and over again. It doesn't work. It's not science. Uh, no, I've seen Back to the Future. That's all the science you need? No, please, listen to me. I, I come from the future. I know the science behind it. Don't try to meddle with anything there. Uh, too late. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, no! Reality is warping! But Jesus! <laughs> well, there's our good deed for the day. I think we uh, need a little bit of relaxation. What do you think, Interceptor? Humanity, listen. You must like, comment, and subscribe, and prepare to be terminated.